And let's turn from our government the way we understand it to the way our politics is perceived abroad. The polls right here are very tight, but across the Atlantic, Europeans seem to want Hillary Clinton to win our upcoming presidential election. Poll numbers, well, you can see it right here on the screen. Germany, 86% uh, of Germans would vote for Hillary. In Italy, 63% of Italians. And uh, just continent-wide, the people of France, Germany, Russia, and the UK, by a, a margin of 60%, say they'd like to see a president Hillary Clinton. Now, trying to get perspective on that, we're very pleased to have joining us from Newsmax Washington, Scottish political reporter Lindsay Razak. Lindsay usually spends her time checking up on Scottish members of parliament, but Lindsay, we're glad to have you tonight at Newsmax Washington. And just give me a brief overview. Why the groundswell in Europe for Hillary Clinton? I think um, people struggle to understand why there's such a dislike for Hillary Clinton in the States. That doesn't really come across very well um, from, a, from a British point of view or from a European point of view. All we have been hearing um, in the media and all we've been writing about is Donald Trump. He's been stealing all the headlines. And a lot of those headlines have been very, very negative because of certain things that he's been saying, um, particularly in, in Scotland and Nicola Sturgeon. Um, it's very, very unusual for um, a, a politician uh, in, a, in a foreign government to intervene in, an, in another election. But she has. She's come out uh, and, and said people should, should back Hillary. Very unusual. But, um, but th some of the things he said fairly early on in the campaign didn't go down very well in Scotland. For example, his comments about Muslims, that actually led to him uh, being stripped of an honorary degree that he held at an Aberdeen University. And also, um, as a result of that, he was stripped of his global Scot status. So uh, there's, there's been lots of negative headlines um, around him. There hasn't been the same scrutiny um, um, in relation to Hillary Clinton, uh, from, from a UK point of view, at least. Although well, let me follow in recent, up, Lindsay. In recent days, yeah, I, I'm just kind of curious. How much do you believe the British press and the British people take their cue from the corporate media here in the United States? Because what you're outlining sounds to me like what we're seeing from the alphabet networks here and the major newspapers and news magazines. Coverage that concentrates on Mr. Trump and doesn't concentrate so much on Mrs. Clinton and her problems. Of course, people have the internet these days, so I think a lot of people do their own research. They're relying less on traditional media outlets. But it's, it, I think you have to understand it's very broad brush looking from across the pond. We don't hear the nitty gritty um, every day, all day, every day, as I've noticed from, you know, just turning on the TV here. It's constantly ch chatter, constant chatter. We don't have that same, that same level. And I think, therefore, all people can do is take the, the headline, you know, the, he the headline things. But of course, Trump, uh, Mr. Trump is, is um, there's particular interest um, in Scotland in, re in relation to him because he has business interests in Scotland with the, with, with the golf horses and, and also the fact that he's actually half Scottish. His mum uh, came from uh, the Isle of Lewis on, on the west coast of Scotland. So there has been a particular interest and a particular focus, uh, focus um, on him. But I mean, I'd, I'd like to think that um, certainly the coverage um, you know, we've been giving it. We've been giving the election has been uh, fairly balanced. That's what we endeavour to do all, all the time to give to give people a you know a, a fair view of what's going on. Uh, Lindsay, we appreciate that. And if you could just give us 30 seconds, Brexit, the big vote. I know Scotland went counter to what we saw uh, in other parts of the UK, but a lot of Americans are saying Brexit, that vote, that's going to going to happen with Trump here. Is that a fair point in your mind? Yeah, I do think, um, I think while a lot of commentators are predicting a Hillary win, I do think um, this could be America's Brexit moment. Um, nobody expected uh, the UK to, to vote to come out of uh, the European Union. Um, people were blown away by that, although if you traveled outside of London, uh, there was much more enthusiasm for Brexit. And I think you have the same disconnect here between Washington and, and other parts of the country in the same way you had with London and the regions. Um, so certainly it, ca it came as a surprise to a lot of people. Um, and uh, and I, d I don't know. I think the polls look, look good for Hillary at this point. But um, as a Brit, uh, I wouldn't want to predict anything at this stage because we saw this summer that, that anything can happen. Fair enough. Lindsay Razek, Scottish political reporter. Lindsay, thanks for your time tonight. Now. My pleasure.